Okay, friends. Here it is. It's Saturday. The temperature's finally cooled off for us a little bit. Today, I am going to go back down to Merrill's Inlet and uh, send out the crab pot. Now, the question is, am I going to let it sit and soak all night tonight and tomorrow and go back and pick it up Sunday? Or am I going to let it sit until and soak until Monday? That's a good question. I'll decide tomorrow, maybe. But uh, so one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... I brought a rod it with me and I'm going to uh, put out a put out a top water one that one that trolls pretty close to the surface and I'm going to troll it through the creek until I get to where I decide to drop a pot and so then I'm going to troll all the way back to the to the launch point we'll see if we do any good with that but anyway, let's go see what we can do. See about, about catching some fish and maybe a big crop, a pot full of crabs. Okay, friends, we're launched and on our way to find a, a spot to drop this pot. In the meantime, I'm going to run this, uh, this top water, uh, troll it. See what we can come up with that that way. Well, hey friends, welcome back to Hook Setting Adventures. Here we are, day two of the pot soaking. I'm back here at the oyster recycling spot. I'm going to launch the yak, head up the creek, and uh, pull the pot. Now, hopefully uh, that thing is full of, uh, full of crabs, because I'd like to have some crabs for dinner tomorrow night. Uh, while I'm on my way out, I'm going to be doing a little bit of fishing i'm going to try an experiment today i brought uh one of my lipless uh, bass lures and we'll see what that one uh, does it's got uh, it's like a fluorescent green i've got a feeling it just might do some some good so let's uh, get this thing loaded and pull a pot Fish on, fish on. What do we got here? Come up here. Oh, got a stingray. Nope, nope, oh, we got a flounder. Not big enough, but we still got a flounder. Maybe get this bunk board out. Are you long enough? Nope, not quite. Now you go grow up for me to catch you again. And can you believe it? I caught that flounder on this neon green lipless crankbait. 
So I'm thinking that if I can catch one on a lipless crankbait, I can catch another on a lipless crankbait. When I when he first grabbed hold of it, I swear I thought I hooked on a oyster shell. But then I noticed that the oyster shell was trying to swim away from me. Well, look at that. A dead stingray. Get your dead stingray self out of here. Now there's something you don't see every day. An airplane on the beach. But it's time to land this thing. Yeah, somebody landed a float plane. Okay, friends, I'm calling it a day. Uh, it's uh, night now, so it's time to head back to the house, get the yak unloaded, clean up myself, maybe get a little snack to eat, and appreciate this day. It was nice to catch that flounder. Too bad it wasn't uh, keeping size. And uh, all the all the crabs, well, what, what crabs were there? There were none. But anyway, it, it was a fun adventure today. The weather wasn't too bad. The temperature was just right. Slight breeze. Got up in those creeks and explored. So anyway, I'm going to head on out of here. Thanks for coming with me. I hope y'all enjoyed watching me fish. Uh, by the way, that was uh, that was something else. That flounder coming on uh, a uh, lipless crankbait. Freshwater lure. But he grabbed it. But anyway... If you have uh, subscribed, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. If you haven't, do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button while you're at it. Go ahead and tickle the bell icon. And if you have not taken a kid fishing, take a kid fishing. This has been Hook Setting Adventures, Fishing with Pudding.